Hey, what's up, guys? We are back again to shamelessly push up in Clash Trial using the best decks in the game. Today, we are not going to be using the Princess Tower. We are going to be using the Overpowered Dagger Duchess and use the best decks to climb quickly as high up as possible. As you can see, we're not even ranked right now. Usually in all of our videos, we're around top 1,000 to 2,000 in the world, usually where I finish when I try. Um, yeah, 1,000 in the world is 1,100-ish. Um, but yeah, that's generally uh, where we are. But today, we should be able to have a very quick climb up and show you why some of these decks are absolutely overpowered when you play them correctly. So strategy right now is we're just going to be playing this Goblin Giant deck real quick, and we'll see what we can do. Definitely want to focus primarily on counter push. So if we just decide to cycle our evolutions like Bomber and Zap, that's generally a really good strat. And then after that, you know, we counter push with Giant Skeletons and throw Goblin Giants in the back of it after we defend with the Giant Skeleton. So if the Giant Skeleton defends and your opponent spams into you, you can then go in for a Goblin Giant right after, and then the Goblin Giant's gonna be protected by the Giant Skeleton. I guess the minions here are also pretty good for us. He's only gonna get one hit on our tower. And he has to deal with both pressures of the Little Prince and also the Giant Skeleton. He's going to go Bats or something. We zap them. He might have to. I mean, he's down so much Elixir. He's going to go Minions. In fact, I could zap those two just to get a little bit of extra damage. And I was going to zap them anyway. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. I think the, the Dagger Duchess completely kills them. But yeah, we're in a really advantageous position. We've figured out that our opponent has Lumberjack Balloon. So if we're playing against a Lumberjack Balloon Barbarian stack, it's not actually ideal for Goblin Giant or Giant Skeleton. Most of the time, we're going to be trying to break through with our bomber and get damage that way. So our strategy right now is we're going to go Goblin Giant in the back. We don't really have anti-air, but he also doesn't have amazing answers for us either. I could go Giant Skeleton. I could also Evo Bomber into that. I think making him pop the ability isn't necessarily advantageous for us. So I'm going to go Giant Skeleton instead, and then I'm going to save my minions in case he wants to go in for a Lumberjack Balloon. So this Goblin Giant should do a lot of damage. I don't think that this guy's really in a good spot to defend it. The Goblin Giant is guaranteed to lock onto the tower here. It's also going to give us a pretty good trade where the bomb is going to explode on the monk, right? Nice. So I think Aaron here is a bit risky. I'd rather just go in for the bomber. He's not going to pop the ability. He loses the Mega Minion too. If he spams in the other side, he's also going to just like not take out my tower if I little prince. So yeah, our strategy right now is going to go for Evo Zap directly into the Barbarians and also the Balloon. That's why you cycle your evolutions. You generally get positive elixir traits with them every single time that you cycle them. The bomber should snag the tower on the left, and then we can go in for a goblin giant again. So, very decisive victory. We like seeing that. I uh, decided to run a extremely strong deck, and that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the stream. We're just not going to be pulling any punches. There's going to be absolutely zero mercy for every player that we play against. And that's the vibe, you know? That's what we like to see. We'll be showing a variety of different decks that are strong, but I, uh, I'm going to be playing my best and try my absolute hardest to push up. Then, you know, I can create more videos later on in the day. And I figured, wait, why not just do a pushing stream if I'm going to push up anyway, right? Wouldn't you guys want to see that? I know that it's uh, not something that we do every single day, but usually do it off stream. Usually don't really record these type of games because they are a little bit easier for me. Um, but might as well do it and just get a huge win streak and have fun with you guys. That's what our goal is today. All right, so he lost this game without taking a tower. If he decides to go in for anything else at the river, we just pull it back. So then when he decides to go in for... A balloon he doesn't have his other units crossing the river so if you stop the lumberjack and the monk from crossing the river notice where the tower targets it targets on the balloon and the balloon just dies even though he had evo zap and a lot of stuff at, coming at us making sure that his other units don't cross the river means that he cannot give value with his balloon his balloon gets targeted by the tower and everything dies it's a really strong strategy to use but highly recommend playing this deck we'll be showing um all the decks right now this is another deck Giant Skeleton is good, but also Giant and Elixir Collector is pretty overpowered as well. The way that this deck works is you spam Elixir Collectors, and then when you're up Elixir, you go in for big pushes with Giant Night Witch. There's a couple different ways of playing Clash Royale right now. It's either like Goblin Drill or Minor Poison, where you get directly on the tower, or you end up playing a version of the deck where it's a beatdown deck, whether it's Golem, Goblin Giant, Giant Skeleton Giant. Uh, there's just like a lot of different beatdown decks that are strong. Lava Hound is one of the best ones right now in the game, too. Anyway, we're going to go for Elixir Collector in the middle, and we'll see what happens. The Phoenix Banner is awesome. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. Let's cycle this. Uh, him cycling Earthquake is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I should still win this game if I play it well. Um, yeah, it just is part of the game, right? You know, Sometimes you get unfortunate situations. Sometimes you just have to deal with it, and this is one of them. Um, I want to cycle Little Prince as well, just to stop him from going for a Hog Rider, but I don't think that that's going to really be a problem for a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to cycle that in the back. Going to go in the same side as him. Going for our giant here. And then Phoenix Arrows probably on top of the Firecracker and Tesla. 
He should go for a firecracker here, and I should be able to arrow everything, I think. Let's pop the ability on top of the Mighty Miner or Knight. Right, yep, we hit the Knight. Very cool. He knew exactly what he was going to do. I think I just arrows on that, as I said before. Just knowing our opponent's card interactions is really important. And then if you're like kind of cognizant of what your opponent's going to do, and you're decent at the game, these are, this is just how easy the games are. You just take their towers, and they just lose. He's going to go for a Hog Rider directly into a Night Witch. No, he's just going to leave, actually. He knew it was over. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You know, we vibe with that. Treadmill and Surtag Mint. Hey, that's what we like to see, man. That is a combination. So happy uh, when you come live. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, if you guys enjoy these streams and you want me to do more ladder pushing or just showcase the best decks in the meta, these are decks that you guys can use to the top of Trophy Road and reach 9,000 trophies or the top of Ultimate Champion. If you play these correctly, you will shamelessly slaughter your opponents. So yeah, definitely drop a like on the video if you guys want to see these streams more often. And uh, I have no problems reviewing the best decks in the game and just being like, hey, these are stupidly overpowered. Flash Royale needs to nerf them. I'll do that every single season if you guys want to have a stream like this. Let me know down below in the comment section. And then also, uh, yeah, just drop a like on the video so then it gets pushed out to more people. This is currently the best drill deck in the game. Reason is you just spam bombers with Tornado. And then the, uh, the Tornado enables you to get the guaranteed value with the Evo Bomber. And it also allows you to pull things off of the Goblin Drill. Like, let's say that my opponent has a Valkyrie to counter the Goblin Drill. We tornado the Valkyrie off last second, and then we get damage with the uh, Goblin spawning on the tower instead of on the Valkyrie. Just important to do. Also, I should have cycled Bomber very aggressively. That was my misplay. I should have cycled that at the river. We got Bats out of him, which is also, like, a good trade. Because him cycling Bats is two Elixir. Kind of a waste. We also get closer to our evolution, so it's generally a bit of a benefit for us. I can cycle Skeletons here. I will cycle Knight last possible second. I'm going to not cycle it, like, super early. Drop it in front of the tower here, so then it does end up barely body blocking. I do want to cycle Tesla early on, just because I want to be able to defend this. Cycle it up a little bit higher, too. Um, this drill should have been in the back. Drill should have been in the back. Lava Island gets pulled back, which is an ideal. We'll poison here really aggressively. It's probably the right play. As long as the Skeleton Dragons die, which they should, I think I'm in a good spot. The Tesla is definitely not in a very healthy position, but it is what it is. Go skeletons here. We'll go night afterward, and then we'll tornado. I think on top of the, the balloon. That balloon was terribly placed. So we have to take advantage of this situation. I think we can tornado it directly to the king tower with no damage. Yep, very good. So if you use the Tesla like we did, um, you can get value like that all day long, and it's uh, it's kind of a vibe. It's nice knowing like these interactions, so then you can punish your opponents when they make bad decisions. Um, like that balloon. If I didn't know about the tornado, I wouldn't have been able to get that. Um, but I knew that I could get away with that. So I knew that I could tornado and activate King Tower. Also, it's a nice safety net having that. A lot of people uh, don't have that safety net. You know, they'll ha just have like Tesla with no other building or no other resource. So you kind of just get screwed then. Also, whenever you're using the Dagger Duchess, make sure you're kiting units to the middle. So you can use the Dagger Duchess. For oh, I meant to hover it with the log. I didn't mean to click the log. Um, I meant to hover this and show like, look at the Dagger Duchess's uh, uh, like daggers. It's like getting depleted. We're actually using it. The log was a huge misplay. No, I mean to cycle that. Kind of funny, I guess, but mess up for sure. Kind of forget. I'm just gonna do this. Poison here. Night afterward. All right, that's fine. This is a good defense. And then we can start spamming a little bit more viciously, I believe. Do here tornado. Oops. Did they not die? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I look at them and I'm like, I, I just hope they die, you know? No one, no one loves those cards. Alright, why are you doing that? Do you not understand, like, the situation? Do you not understand the gravity of your position? The gravity of your predicament, my guy? Poison again? I feel like he's just gonna spawn something in front of his tower and die. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just, like, goes in for another balloon directly into nothing. He's probably in a balloon and then loose. Yeah, I bet you need balloons. We're going to wait for that to pop. Then we're going to NATO it back. Then we're going to poison. And that should kill everything. And we can cycle two Teslas if we really want to. But obviously, I don't care. Might as well just finish the game a little bit faster. We know he's going to go in for barbs. So we're going to go in for the bomber here. Good splash the barbs. We're not unlucky. Which I, I feel like I'm not an unlucky individual. Did you? That was a really easy game. We were completely under control the entire time, and the only thing that I like was like slightly sad about was like misplacing the log when I was trying to show you guys something. But 
yeah, as you can see, these decks are really strong. Um, I don't think we're going to lose any games until we reach like, I don't know, 2,100 medals-ish. Who knows? Um, yeah, we should just keep winning. Uh, the things about these decks are like, if you play them at all well, you have a huge advantage against your opponents because a lot of their decks will just be worse. So if you have like a stronger deck, you are bound to get better interactions in your opponent. Like the Hog Rider shouldn't get a hit. Even though he goes in for four Elixir and we drop five that is like not really meant to do much, we still get a better trade. Also, we're to pre-log skeletons that he should drop. Aw, that would have been so sick. Anyway, we keep up our card cycle. Um, I was hoping he'd drop skeletons and then he would like have to cycle a knight afterward or something. Or maybe a mighty minor, but it didn't really happen. Tesla placement, full counters hog. Even if he earthquakes, which he won't. It'd be really dumb for him to do that. Like super, super bad. All right, I do have to go skeletons here because uh, the skeletons aren't getting killed. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go and spam a bomber at the river because he should log this, but he will also take damage, I think. Hopefully. Nah, rip. I thought we would get something, but I guess Dagger Duchess just kills. Oh, I should have cycled Evil Bomber there. My bad. I thought he was going to drop a unit, but he didn't. Is he knight? Like, if he knights, it's just terrible because we just do this. He goes Hog Rider, and then we tornado the King Tower, and then we hold his knight far enough away. So the reason why that works is, like, he was trying to use the knight to body block, but if we block the knight, then the knight can't block our tornado. So he just, like, wasted a lot of elixir. Alright, we're going to go for a drill in a different spot. Maybe he, uh, if we drop it slightly off to the left, maybe he can't hit everything with a log. Maybe he feels like he can't hit everything with a log. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's good. We already activated King Tower. Dagger Duchess does kill that uh, Firecracker if we need to. I can cycle a log here. It doesn't really matter, though. Yeah, actually, I do need to log this. So then the Dagger Duchess one-shots it. All right, this is, uh, I don't know if he gets any damage on our towers besides Spell Cycle. I don't think he gets any damage on my tower besides Spell Cycle. I'm calling it right now. I don't think he does anything to me the entire game. Besides, like, Earthquake or Log on my tower. Maybe, maybe, oh, did he leave? Yeah, he just left. He doesn't even want to play the game anymore. Understandable. Understandable, my dude. You weren't going to do damage anyway. So, yeah, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of bullying people with really overpowered decks. The title rings true. This is what's going to happen. We are shamelessly playing the best decks in the game, and this is what happens. These decks are a little bit broken. That Clash Royale should have, like, looked at them and been like, hey, maybe there's a problem here. Maybe we should nerf these cards. Maybe these cards shouldn't be strong for two whole months. That is exactly what's happened. These cards are just significantly better than all the other decks. It's almost better to go solo hogs against Duchess because you can't NATO to King Towers as a Smurf Blade. Yeah, it is. You're 100% right. 100% right. Tag, please oil up and do the worm on stream. I'm begging you by my glorious king. I'm on my knees begging for the Pookie to oil up and do the worm. My guy is, my guy is crazy with it. All right, we're finally ranked. We're at 7,000 in the world. Let's keep going. Joker arc, Pog, you? Dude, the villain arc has started. I, I feel like, yeah, we are definitely in our villain arc. We are definitely in our villain arc. I, hey, I, 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 I told you what I was going to do. I, I was committed to the cause, and it, it happened, as we said. Why is your voice deeper on stream? Because it's obviously my villain arc, man. Like, we got to play the part. But in reality, my, my voice is generally deeper whenever I wake up, and uh, I just get, like, arise from being sleepy. So that's kind of the strategy, man. Also, I use the word arise because of uh, solo leveling, so... You know, sometimes we, we kind of have to integrate that into our real life, I guess. Sometimes, like, when you watch something or read something, it, it infiltrates into your brain. And you're like, oh, oh, please don't, like, hard counter me here with arrows. That's one hit. Not even. Not even. Not even for the one time, my guy. Imagine. Imagine all the people dying to the Dagger Duchess. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Nine win. Nah, 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 that's exactly what our arrow said to him. 100%. So you're not going to oil up? Uh, probably not, man. First time being on stream and watching YouTube. How is this feels? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not you. I don't know how you feel. Doesn't a version of Hog Cycle compete against this, especially cycle for cycle? The only Hog Cycle deck that I like right now is the one with Executioner and Bomber, and I made a video on it. It's literally the only deck that I would play that is Hog Rider. All the other ones suck. They're just super, super bad right now into uh, into us. Okay, he just lost the game. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what this guy's guy is going for. None of this makes sense. He just like sacked his tower and is trying to defend with nothing. 
Uh, and then zapping bats that were gonna like, or sorry, zapping minions that made no difference. All right, so the strat here is like, if we cycle Little Prince, he just balloons me, and then I kind of lose my tower. Uh, I think cycling Zap is probably pretty good. Bomber is also really good since we do want to cycle some uh, cards that can splash down the. Um, yeah, so we can splash down the barbarians that he's bound to drop. Going giant skeleton first enables you, like, an offense that the opponent has to respect. He'll probably have to arrows this. I really hope he arrows is this. I really want to see an arrows here. Okay. There's a tornado Valkyrie, I guess. But I feel like that's not great for him either. He's going to Evo Zap. That's also not great for him because now we can arrows on everything. He's giving us the option to arrows on absolutely everything. We zap here as well, just the cycle. And then we're back to Goblin Giant. Even if he has Fireball, which he does, it doesn't matter. All I have to do is just go Goblin Giant on defense against the Balloon. And then we kill it, right? Good, take it out. Very cool. All right, then we go Bomber. And with 20 seconds remaining, he still has to defend the entire time. And we have Evo Zap, so he loses. Good day, sir. GG, my guy. It was a very easy win. But yeah, he doesn't even take a tower, and he lost both of his. And he's going to go Balloon here, and we have Evo Zap, and we have a Little Prince. So we're just going to drop our little... Our, we'll drop our Zap at the river just to make a prediction, but he's not going to drop it. Very easy win. On to the next one. Just want to match with this deck in a challenge? Yeah, these decks are so broken. I, I'm telling you guys. Like, I, if you come to my stream, I, I will show you guys the way. I'll show you guys the OP strategies, and we'll just push up. You know? Fun time. All right, we'll play this deck again. I don't think I've played this on stream right now, but broken. Um, are you going to be using a deck for Giant Beatdown? This is the Giant Beatdown deck that I would recommend. This is the best one. Again, I don't plan on losing until I hit 2,100 medals. Uh, so let's just win this game too. Sometimes you can lose based off of RNG or opponent getting a good matchup or you like messing up if you're better. But for the most part, when you're running overpowered cards and you are better, you probably won't lose. That's generally what happens. So this, this is a game that I could lose because this is an Elixir Collector festival of spamming stuff. Uh, I don't really enjoy this. I'm not very well versed in spamming Elixir Collectors uh, with Giants. Not a matchup that I enjoy. Uh, I think that we want to cycle our Giant in the back and go in the same side as him and then use our Giant as a tank and as a resource. So him cycling the Bomber there I think is probably okay for him. Um, Fireball, wow, that sucks for me actually. The fact that he has Fireball is pretty annoying. All right, let's cycle our little prince here and then go for an ability, maybe. See if he drops a giant. All right, I didn't want to overcommit too hard. I think arrows clean up. <clears throat> yeah, arrows definitely clean up, right? All right, so we'll do that right now. And then the phoenix should be able to kill most of the fishermen. It should get like one shot on my tower. Hopefully not two. Oh my gosh, it got two. All right, we got to go Elixir Collector, but we're waiting a little bit. Maybe I do this. Because the Phoenix is going to um, hopefully get resurrected. Ah, no, it doesn't restart. My bad. Do we Evo Zap here? Might he just Evo Zap. Or maybe not. Maybe it just takes his tower. This might just take his freaking tower. Yeah, this is Evo Zap. Takes his tower, right? He didn't play well at all. But yeah, sure, you activate King Tower, but like you lose your entire tower, my guy. And then the Fisherman by itself dies to our uh, Princess Tower, or our, our Dire Duchess. But he just did not play well. Takes the L. Yep, he cycles Giant in the back when we Elixir Collector. That gives us a lot of time. Notice how the Fisherman is three Elixir wasted. So if you're better than your opponent, what will happen is they'll waste the Elixir while you make better trades. That's generally what we try to go for. I'm also dropping our Elixir Collector here because we expect him to Fireball. We're trying to stagger our stuff a little bit too, ideally. Nice, he Fireballs on that. Cool. Oh no, that's so rigged. I just cycled my arrows because I tried to cop, pop the little prince ability. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That was actually really unfortunate. I think I'm still fine, but like... I don't know if you guys have ever done that before. Where you cycle a spell in the corner because you're trying to spam the ability. Damn, that's, that's really rough. I mean, it doesn't even matter. We still win by a wide margin, but like... It would have been even more dominant if he... Uh, yeah, it would have been even less close. If we were able to just drop the ability there and not waste our arrows, we would have knocked back the giant, right? So, as you can see, uh, this deck is really, really strong. Not the BM. I didn't mean to BM him. Uh, it's like, it's too ruthless to BM someone after you already run an overpowered deck. 4,000 trophies. Let's keep going.
Oh, dude, I just tried to drink without the unscrewing the cap. That was, that was kind of awkward. I feel like that's going to get clipped. The Duchess called you, uh, cursed you because you called her princess. That's the only way I see it. So then you threw the arrows. <laughs> I threw my princess arrows, guys. That's how it goes. All right, so we have a couple more games to 2,100. Hopefully we don't lose any more games. As I said before, I don't plan on losing, so hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, Log is really integral in defense against drill versus drill. I can get it just... I don't have to do anything, though. It's better to not log when you don't need to. Oops, I misclicked. Could have been different placement, but it's fine. I think I activate King here. No, I don't think I can. No, I could have, but the, the knight was kind of in the way, so I was kind of scuffed. Like, I was like, uh, yeah, whatever. I love this game so much. Yep, Evo Bomber's annoying. I might have lost. That is one of the things that in Clash is like, if someone Evo Bombers you and they get more damage, it's kind of unfortunate. It is part of the game, though. It is an Evo Bomber world out here. Bomb or be bombed, says Evo Bomber. For two elixir, you can have an entire win condition. Amazing. Amazing. I should have activated King Tower earlier, but whatever. Alright, please just give me the... Uh, wait, I can't activate King with this, can I? Oh, it works. Sick. Nice. Perfect skeleton's placement. Alright, I'm gonna beat this guy, I think. Poison Log kills. So he's spending 5 Elixir, I'm spending 6. This is a good trade for me. We wait a little bit, wait a little bit, then log and we're at four elixir for the Tesla. We're chilling. You might go for a prediction the like cannon or something. Wait a little bit, wait a little bit, hit the skeletons. Yeah, we just play better than him. All right, that was sick. We just slaughtered Evo skeletons and also hit uh, the Royal Hogs and the Fire Spirit. That was really good. Honestly, slightly scared. I'm just going to go uh, do this instead. Oh my gosh, dude. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. I suck. <laughs> can I stop missing spells for the one time, please? Please, can we not do that anymore? I, I, I'm a little bit a little bit not happy missing my spells, my guys. It's not, a, it's not a fun experience. What else can I say besides it's been brutal out here? <laughs> it has been funny, but it has not been fun. Pretty sure that dies. Oh no. Or an whore. Alright, try not to lose the game. Mission impossible when you're bad at the game. <laughs> I'm playing poorly. Playing really poorly. Fine though. Sometimes uh, sometimes we have to test our, our, our limits of stupidity. Good Tesla. Oh, he thought we were going to Evo Bomber and I didn't. Well, now I do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, it didn't work. That sucks. That's rough, boys. He's trying to outcycle me like a madman. He's truly trying to get after it to a really unreasonable extent, but he's dead. I played like trash, but it didn't matter. As you can see, like a lot of these decks do carry you. Um, this guy actually played better than me. I think he did. I think he deserved to beat me. He's better than me that game. <laughs> Usually that doesn't happen at this rank, but I did get outplayed and I won. So sometimes you can be a worse player and beat someone. Um, that is one of those instances where I actually legitimately was worse than my opponent, but I won because of matchup. And that happens a lot. Um, like if you play a ton of games, it'll probably happen one out of like, I don't know, five or six games where you win a game that you don't deserve to win. Um, and it'll also happen against you when you're running like less good decks. You'll lose against matchups that you just can't win. Sometimes. It's not that frequent. Um, but yeah, I did not deserve to beat him.
I always let you guys know as well. Like I, I try to be honest. Like when I outplay my opponents and when I get outplayed, um, I did not play as well as him. I was it wasn't even remotely close. Played a lot better. He made predictions on Evo Bombers. He really understood the game at a good level. So great player there, and I'm super happy that we won. But also at the same time, I'm not gonna say, "Wow, I outplayed him." No, like I just won based off matchup. 100%. That's also part of the stream, right? Using the most overpowered decks in the game and shamelessly winning. That is that is literally the title. So I am not going to stay away or deviate from that. Also, really good little prints. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it didn't reset its attack until our opponent zapped. And the reason why that happened is because our opponent had units behind. So, oh, wow. Uh, so, yeah, we were targeting onto the minions. If the minions weren't there, the little prince resets its attack animation and doesn't start targeting the, the lava pups. Because the lava pups aren't on the map for a split second, so the little prince like staggers and he moves forward slightly, and then because of that, then he resets his attack because he kills the lava hound, and then the little prince can't find a target for a short period of time, and then it moves forward, and then yeah, that's kind of what happens. So you haven't lost yet. Just goes to show how broken the game is. Well, I am better than the people that I'm playing against generally. Um, I mean, I'm a rank 1,000 player at the end of the season, right? Like whenever I try, and I'm not close to top 1,000 yet. There is that. But also at the same time, um, the last game, I shouldn't have won. There's no way, there's no reason for me to have won that game. Um, that was more so matchup based. I, I won the game uh, with a better matchup than my opponent. There really isn't, wasn't much you could do there. Terrible ability on my end, I think. Me thinks, me thinks. Maybe it wasn't that bad though. If we were able to arrows and we we're able to protect our giant, maybe it wasn't that bad actually. He might be dead. Did he just like play poorly and lose? Or did he just not have a good card cycle? I don't know. The miner was terrible though, because now he doesn't have miner for the elixir collector. Um, if he goes in for a balloon, it just dies to the phoenix. If he lava hounds, it's also just like you're spending a lot of time to build up that push, my guy. And since he has dagger duchess, it's in our best interest to go for night witch. If you guys are unaware, you have to learn interactions like this. Little prince um, is obviously really cool here, but most important interaction is skeleton dragons die to uh, they die to Evo Zap. So it's really important to know that. All right, we're just going to zap so then we can guarantee kill this. And yeah, just a really easy defense again. And more stuff in front. Why not? And we win. GG. Really nothing we can do anymore, right? This is like such an easy game again. Like there was really not too much of a contest. Kill me, my dude, Arenos. He's not back to Barb, so he's just dead. Straight up. GG. He knows it's over too. I'm going to wait with my arrows because I want to be able to... Actually, screw it. We're just zapping because we can arrows minion horde. Yep. We outplayed him. That was, um, that was smart because we knew like the lava or the uh, the phoenix egg would put the minions into zap range. Then we could arrows them the, uh, the minion horde. All right. Still haven't lost. Let's go. Little Prince is a completely busted card. Uh, balance card. <laughs> I, I filled it in for you. Yeah, we didn't lose. We hit 2100 as expected without any losses. Love to see it, guys. Light work. So we started... Right here, 25 minutes ago, we won. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins in a row. Hell yeah. You better get humbled next game. Uh, I am I mean, I did get humbled. I literally got outplayed by this guy and I got a game that I didn't deserve to win. I mean, being humbled is like, you like, I'm being off, I'm being realistic, right? My rank is 3000. This is when I didn't play at all last season. Um, usually it's 1,000 in the world at 2,800 medals or whatever around there. So obviously if like your ranks before were like way higher than that, it makes sense, right? So it's like not that impressive, but it's still kind of cool. Um, wall breakers are kind of niche and bad. Bomber is way more broken and versatile, uh, which means it will get nerfed soon. So it's your call to Smurf Blade. Yep, exactly. Uh, there's a lot of really good evolutions that you guys can level up, but they're not necessarily all worth leveling up because they are more niche, so you can't run them in a variety of different decks. Like, Wall Breakers are good as a win condition, but they're not a support card. Bomber can be used on defense against Royal Hogs, defense against Goblin Barrel to fully counter it. It's also a card that's really good uh, as a win condition, because, you know, it's two Elixir, you spam it at the river, and you generally get really good trades. Something to keep in mind. I really like cycling Little Prince here. I think it's the right play to do. Okay. I'll cycle Phoenix. This is Graveyard. I think it's Graveyard. What's Elixir Collector? 
This may be really risky, but I think that the Phoenix kills the uh, bowler and it precludes the potential of him building up a big push. I might actually Night Witch early. It's a little bit risky to do. I think I Night Witch early to start spawning bats. Oh. That was the right play. And we zap to reset. I think that was one of the best decisions I could have done, but maybe still not enough. Man, oh man. Oh no, or an or. Wow. This might be a loss. I hate playing against graveyard decks, man. They do so much damage. <laughs> that sucks. Oh no. Alright, so I think I lost. I think that was a bad knight though. Right into a Night Witch. Cycling the Evo Knight like that was pretty ambitious. It was definitely a terrible tornado too. Like he does get two hits on our tower, but oh no, he got three, never mind. Got a lot of elixir on that though. Alright, so we get one push in us. That's all we have is one big push. We obviously want to go on the other side. Um we have a giant. We can go and spam all our stuff and see if it works. Run it back here. See how it goes. Giant Phoenix, bam a couple of these and see if it goes uh, the way we need it to. Definitely want to cycle our bombers so we can get back to more of them. Cycle our Night Witch early on so we can get as many bats on the field as possible. Arrow's going to be huge. Evo Zap might be better though. Yeah, definitely Evo Zapping this. And then we're going to cycle another Phoenix. Then create a sweet baby Phoenix power that we can win. I think I lose though. He played this pretty well. Less? Oh, man, this is actually really close. But he should be able to graveyard me. Like giant as soon as we possibly can and just keep up the pressure. Oh, he's going in. Wait, there's actually a chance I win. There's no way he sold. There's no way he sold. This guy is a massive merchant. I cannot believe he did that. Wow. That was the dumbest graveyard I've seen in a while, but it happens. Um, like sometimes you just get in situations where you're like, you're, you're freaking out. He won the game, by the way. He just needed to poison twice. So what I would have done if I was him, I would cycle Inferno Dragons on defense and then cycle Little Princes and then make sure that you get into situations where you can just poison twice. Like all he had to do was poison twice and he had it. He had the game secured. So, yeah, that was that was really bad on his end. But hey, it happens. He's definitely a good player. He's still 3,000 in the world. That's the thing. Or, well, I guess he's 9,000 usually. But yeah. Um, sometimes what happens in these games is like you find yourself in positions where if you are a little bit more patient, you will win because your opponent will make a misplay. Um, that's another thing that will like set better players apart from people that are slightly worse is they will just make plays that they should not be doing um they'll rush games like i'm sure you guys have done that before right you you're winning a game the entire time and you just rush it because you think that you like you need to win I, it's just that's what happens man it happens to me all the time too for video content because i try to make sure that the games are a little bit shorter so you guys don't sit there the entire time waiting for me to spell cycle someone i'll rush in and try to finish off the game faster and then I'll, sometimes i'll lose um or actually yesterday i was recording for a video and I lost the game because I mispla misplaced a fireball because I was looking at the camera. And I just did not put that in the video because, like, well, that sucks. Kind of a bad experience. i probably lose this one, to be honest. But you never know. We'll play better opponent. I definitely overcommitted there. The Elixir Collector might have not been the best decision. I think I dropped it at a bad point. We'll see if we can come back here. <laughs> I finally put a level 15 cannon. Yeah, man. Hey, it's part of the, part of the process. Never back down, never what? I mean, hey, we could still win. You never know. We did win all the other games. This would be our first loss of the stream uh, 34 minutes in. Oh, I popped ability too. Guy is ferocious with it. There's no way I win. Uh, this guy's playing really, really, really well. I think I just overcommitted with the Battle Elixir Collector and then I got punished for it. Um, generally, this matchup isn't that bad for us. Uh, I would say it's like actually pretty good for us. The later the game gets, the better it gets. Because if he... Ah, uh, he's got a Mother Witch. I don't know. Actually, I don't know this version of the matchup, actually. 
I don't I don't want to speak out of my butt here. I don't I don't really know this version with Mother Witch anymore. I, I assume it's probably okay for us still, because we can just arrows it with zap and we're fine-ish. I'm not breaking through a Pekka plus Little Prince though for the rest of this game. It's gonna be too much. Unless he disconnects or something. Or he does some really dumb push. Mega Knight? Nah, he doesn't have Mega Knight. Got Pekka. There's no Pekka Mega Knight decks at top ladder or higher up. We're, we're at a rank where we're not playing against people that are bad at the game. Everyone that I'm playing against is pretty good at this rank. As I said, I could start losing at 2,100 more likely than not. Like, I probably would lose a couple games, at least. Um. Alright, I think we go Night Witch in the back, and then we go in for a Giant here, and then we try to make one last push. Maybe he goes in for some ambitious 3-crown play and loses, but I don't think so. He played really well and he deserved the win. GG, man. We'll jump to the next one. GG, and we'll play. Sometimes this, this does happen where you just get outplayed and you deserve to lose, and that's exactly what happened here. Can't say anything other than that. How many trophies is mid ladder? Mid ladder is always subjective. Um, there's a lot of people that are like saying that mid ladder is top 1,000 to top like I don't know 9,000. Um, like pro players will say that they're like Jake, you're always in mid ladder. I'm like I know, I know. And then mid ladder for me, I guess, is like anywhere from. Um, 5,000, I, I, I'd say like, yeah, 5,000 or 4,000 in the world to top 9,000. Like that's mid ladder for me where it's just pretty easy. Um, I don't know. It really depends. Depends on your skill level. Let's go. Let's go. I would say you had matchup against this version. You can arrows plus zap on the evil mother witch. Yeah, that makes sense. I could see that. I mean, I could see myself uh, having matchup there. I just went for really bad elixir collector. I deserve to lose, to be honest. He only has arrow zap, so pump Night Witch, Phoenix pop off. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Smurflade, for the analysis on the deck. It's really cool to have top level players in the chat be like, hey, this is like how you win the matchup, or this is what you could have done different. I don't know. That's really cool to be able to reflect back on games. And also, you know, when I don't understand something, being able to have really good players say like that in the chat, now you guys are able to get like expert analysis, objective analysis on what is important in that matchup. So cycling elixir collectors, cycling phoenixes and night witches, when your opponent doesn't have a fireball or poison, is really, really strong. And if they have mother witch, you can just poison, uh, you can just zap plus arrows it away, or evo zap it away. Um, that's what Smurfblade said, and he is a top P.E.K.K.A. player. He's one of the best P.E.K.K.A. players I've seen in the world. So now you guys got some feedback. All right, what's the best evo to get first? Uh, well, evo zap is really good since it's versatile and can be played in every deck. I really, really like it. Uh, it's able to kill skeleton dragons. Magic Archers, Mother Witches, pretty much most things in the game. Just really, really strong. Five Skeletons. All right, so I think we're in a good spot, but obviously not like the best in the world. Um, definitely a decent position. Also, this guy's ranked 700. He kind of has a decent matchup here since he does have Ice Golem. It's kind of annoying. Hard to kill the Ice Golem. I can't Elixir Collector either because remember, he's going to end up having a uh, Ice Cool. Sorry, he's going to have Earthquake. So it's just not feasible for me to do that. Always going to arrow that. Always be arrowing. No, uh, yeah, nothing for him to counter this, I don't think. If he goes Firecracker, we Evo Zap it 100%. Unless he drops it like right next to his King Tower. I messed it up. Oops. Yeah, this is really good. They keep up the pressure since uh, kind of just in a bad spot, I think, maybe. Man, that's such an annoying card. I really wish that got nerfed like a little bit harder. <laughs> I hate evil skeletons. I hate the concept of them. The fact that they just endlessly multiply. It is a problem. It's a bad thing for the game. Okay. Alright, we probably need to cycle a zap so I can get back to a... Uh, yeah. Go zap, probably. 
We're gonna zap. We're gonna arrows on this actually. Very cool. Basically a dead hog rider, which is something that most people don't anticipate. Let's do this. I really wish I would win, but I don't think I'm going to. It'll be close. So like, it incentivizes us to spam very aggressively here. Oh, he just lost. That was terrible. I am surprised he didn't uh, drop something on that, actually. Nice. Oh no, I suck! Oh no. Or nor. Oh my goodness. That actually cost me. GG. GG. That was kind of unfortunate. Uh, I missed the zap on the firecracker. I think having Ice Golem enables a much, much, much better defense. Uh, and offense too, because... If you guys are unaware, Ice Golem, if you drop it in front of the uh, Hog Rider, it actually soaks up all of the damage from the uh, all the damage from the Dagger Duchess. That was probably a good matchup for him, actually. All things considered, he had Earthquake for our Elixir Collector, and then he did have Ice Golem, so then we can't really defend against uh, Hog Riders very effectively. So I would say that's a huge matchup advantage for him. That was the first bad matchup that we've got in the entire stream where I was like, oh, wow, that actually really sucks. That zap miss, yeah, that zap miss was pretty bad. Um, I would say like we probably still would have lost even with the zap miss. To be honest, the matchup was pretty bad. Like he didn't make enough misplays for us to win. Um, we were ideally hoping not to have play against an ice golem hog rider earthquake deck. If it was fireball, it'd be pretty free. But he had earthquake, so I wasn't able to go elixir collector to build up an elixir advantage. It was harder for me to cycle as many zaps as I would want, honestly. Perfect uh, giant placement. It stops the banner from dashing. He's poisoning, which is interesting for us. That's obviously very good. Zap here. We can kill that, and we do. Beautiful. I don't think it matters that much. I mean, no earth, uh, no earthquake, so we can cycle elixir collectors and finally liberally cycle what we want. Splash shard Evo Bomber? Really? No, there's no way, dude. There's no way he's got splash shard in this. He's got Royal Ghost. It wouldn't make sense. Um, This deck doesn't look good, but it's probably P.E.K.K.A. He's probably playing a P.E.K.K.A deck. So we'll get our redemption against the last P.E.K.K.A player. And this is actually a worse matchup than the game that we got against the person that had arrows and zap. Arrows zap should have been a free win. Um, this is a little bit harder. But I still think I win. I think I just eat this, honestly. And then bomber here. No, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> what am I kidding? Who do I think I am? Who do you guys think I am? Oh my gosh. Look at that brutalization, my dudes. That was two elixir. I spent two elixir. It's too good for its own good. Oh my gosh. Clash Royale maybe nerf it a little bit for the one time. That's insane. I just won the game from a freaking two elixir card. Absurd. Actually insane. A little bit silly and stupid. Great bomber. Night Witch stays alive. Might as well run it back. Did a cycle Pekka probably? Oh no, he can't do that. You gotta cycle a Pekachu, my guy. Where the Pekachu at though, brother? Oh, he doesn't have an elixir for a Pekachu anymore. He's gonna get Thunderbolted. Wait, can we kill an Electro, Electro Wizard with the Evo Zap? I don't think so. Yo, it actually kind of straight up died though. <laughs> Pekachu, I choose you. All right, watch him go Pekachu. He's gonna go Pekachu right on this. I knew it. Goodbye, Pekachu. It was nice knowing you. Look at the Pekachu, it's dead. Pekachu got pecked down, my dudes. He wasn't ready. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna stop playing super foolishly, but it was fun while it lasted. Okay. 
This is a really bad poison. No, he doesn't have a good card cycle. Should just get like a little bit of love. Not enough to take the tower, but you know, something. Royal Ghost in front, and then we Evil Bomber it. Oh, he's not bad. Unfortunately, he's not bad at the game. Kind of expecting him to be worse than that, to be honest. Oops. That's not good on our end. Unless we get a hit, then it's OP. If we get a hit, that'd be so funny. Oh, damn. That's insane. I would have Evo zapped on the Battle Ram, so I wouldn't have lost, but yeah. He was trying to push it with the Battle Ram. He was, he was trying to get fancy with me. All right, we'll play a couple games with a different deck. Um, I think that this deck is a little bit um, worse than the other ones, maybe, just because it seems less reliable. Like, it's still broken. It's just people have played against it so much since it is the most popular deck. So generally, since it is the most popular deck in the game, people will build decks to beat it. Um, we only played against one deck that countered us, which was this Hog Rider deck. This P.E.K.K.A. deck is not a huge hard counter. Um, this P.E.K.K.A. deck was not also a huge hard counter. We just lost because we didn't play well. Uh, um... This, this this Ice Golem deck is not a good matchup, though, at all. So, uh, I do think that if you play a deck that is, like, very popular, people will try to build decks to beat it. I hate this Giant deck? Yeah, see, like, people are saying that they hate the Giant deck in the chat. Like, they've played against it way too much, so then they build, like, people build decks to beat it. Oh, this guy's better than me. Okay, we'll say good luck. Yeah, I think I, I, think I remember this guy, or I've seen it before. Um, yeah, this is going to be a scary game. He's got also the, uh, he's got the limited emote, so he's hit top, uh, top 100 in the world before. So not going to be an easy game. This guy's very good at the game. Hopefully I can win. This actually, uh, this is what we wanted. This is what I usually get for videos. I try to play against people better than me, and then I either lose or win or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I just try to get fun games. Oh, no. We're losing. I also don't like the fact that he has Electro Dragon and just spammed it at the start of the match because I do not have a counter to Electro Dragon in my deck. He's not a very nice guy either. It looks like we did get hard countered here, but that doesn't happen super often. We're also going to mute him so you guys don't have to see that the entire time. Sometimes you get good matchups, sometimes you get bad matchups. Yeah. We're starting to get some worse matchups right now, and when we play against better players with worse matchups, then we kind of just get steamrolled because it's hard to kill an Electro Dragon here, like practically impossible, so it is kind of a problem. Recycle Giant Skeleton, he'll definitely Electro Dragon into this. He's definitely going to have a Golem deck too. Fireball Arrows is pretty bad on his end, in my opinion. And that's pretty stupid. Cycle that amount of Elixir. I'm surprised that a good player would do that. That doesn't make that much sense to me. Oh, he's got Barbs. Yeah, I actually just get screwed. This is actually so bad <laughs> for me. Fortunately for us, he's going to not pop the Skeleton King ability because it's right into minions. He uses arrows earlier. Honestly, he's made a few misplays. Like, cycling the Fireball arrows is really, really bad. But I don't think it matters. I think he can get away with it. Uh, okay, I think we can go for Little Prince here. The bad thing is the Electro Dragon. Again, I can't kill it. I have nothing in my deck to kill the Electro Dragon. I don't know if Evo Zap plus, uh, plus arrows kills it. Can someone let me know in the chat? Is there Smurf Blade or anyone else that's better than me? Let me know if Evo Zap plus Arrows kills a Electro Dragon. Asking for a friend. Kind of need to know. It's kind of important. Jeez, man. Rough life out here. Giant Skeleton, man. Alright. Can this die so then it explodes on Barbarians? Wow, oh, he's going to pop the ability too. He's playing a lot of Elixir. Alright, fine. Man, that card is so annoying. I can't kill it. <laughs> it's chaining on my tower, dude. Alright, we're gonna do this. Probably gonna get arrowed. Definitely gonna get arrowed, never mind. Jeez, dude. Calm down with it. Can we afford a giant skeleton in front or nah? Nah, not quite. Yeah, it just looks like a loss. I mean, we're going into Barbarians and we don't have Fireball. We have no way of killing the Barbarians. And then we also have no way to kill the Electric Dragon. So it is kind of a 100-0 matchup in his favor. Also having arrows for our bomber and also our other stuff. This is kind of unfortunate. Playing against a good player that counters us. 
Especially the Electro Dragon is just so tilty. He's gonna arrow this. All right, we got the barbs out of cycle. What do I even do? I don't really think I'm given an option. I kind of have to just focus on defending, right? If he arrows us this or fireballs it, I'm dead. The giant should get a hit. Oh, it didn't somehow. Oh my goodness. Please just tell me I outplayed him and won somehow. Like I played that so well. I really did play that well. I played that so well, please. I somehow almost broke through Barbarian's Electro Dragon against a top like 100 player in the world. That's crazy. Sometimes you can't win every game you play. We'll still save GG. We'll jump to the next one. Be well played. That was kind of a hard counter. I don't even know what that was. I don't. I genuinely don't understand. Like, why would you? Why would you have an Electro Dragon in that deck? That was probably a snipe. We do have a lot of people watching us right now, so we'll take a look. Actually, I'll take a look right now and see if the guy sniped us. If he's never played that deck before, if he's been trying to, then it was a snipe. But if he's played that a lot, then it's not a snipe. It'll make me feel better if I know. Oh, he switched decks, dude. He switched decks. He literally just switched decks. That was actually a snipe. Wow. The la the he switched decks immediately and then played against me <laughs> with an Electro Dragon and Barbarians. Oh, wow. He literally switched his deck to beat us. That's insane. Yeah, we have Earthquake, so we can't break through that. Wow. That's surprising. Well, I guess not surprising because we do have 1,700 people live, but yeah. No wonder he was BMing us like crazy. We jump to the next game. That's That makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Tag got sniped. Yeah, that does not happen often. That is very, 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 very infrequent. Um, but I guess since the timer, like if you look, it takes like a little bit of time for us to like queue into a game. It's pretty easy for us to people, for people at our level to snipe us. Temptation, my dog. <laughs> Dude, he was too tempted by the snipe. He was too tempted by the snipe. Obviously, he's a good player, but that deck was... It, it looked too weird for it to it'd be a real deck. Like, Electro Dragon is such a trash card, it doesn't really make sense to be put in the deck. But, Electro Dragon does kind of counter us. He almost lost the game, too. Like, he did get outplayed a little bit, so... I don't know. It would have been a funny win if we got it. It would have been a pretty funny win if we had won that one. No! Oops. Yeah, you can't let it touch your tower or the entire activation doesn't happen. What a loser? Uh, I mean, you gotta, gotta expect to get sniped like that, man. It's whatever. All right, we'll go drill here. Really bad fireball. Oh, no, I actually hit. Oh, We're not in a good spot. Wait, do we run it back? No, no, no. We don't run it back. We don't run it back, guys. We don't tornado it again. I didn't see the moment before the game. Uh, did you say early on you were changing your deck? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't really remember. But he switched his deck to something that completely countered us that exact game. So, I think so. Alright, we'll go Bomber here. How do we win this? Our strategy should be pretty simple, right? We have a good matchup here. Since we do have a Tesla and uh, kind of not something ideal. But it is what it is. Like, it's not ideal for him. You, like, when you're playing Monk, you probably don't want to be playing against someone that has Tesla. You'd rather play against Bomb Tower or something of the sort. This log is useless, but like anyway. All right, we can go Bomber Drill again. It's hard for him to defend this. Especially if the Knight tanks. Like, that's just insane. Like, that's just so sick. That is sickening to see that. Stupid card, man. He's a nerf. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I suck. So, one of the issues with uh, Dagger Duchess is when you play against RG, you kind of run out of ammunition, and then you kind of just get steamrolled sometimes. But I need more health than I have right now. I think I might have lost. I don't have that much health to work with. 
And he's gonna keep monkeying. Oh, he's gonna pop the ability. He did. Right, he got outplayed. Drop this up higher. Alright, we'll do that again. I would love to win, but I think I'm probably going to take an L here. Just don't see good things happening. Um... Log doesn't make sense. Nato again. Skeletons here. Messed up. Oops. Actually, a lot of damage for him. Yeah, we lost. No. All right. Uh. It died, but also we're in danger zone. Yeah, I think I could have played that better in one. If I didn't like log, maybe we would have been able to do something. There's no way I just won! Oh my gosh! Nerf this! Nerf it, Clash Royale! Nerf this stupid deck! I didn't deserve it! I didn't deserve it! Oh my gosh! They don't play their game. They don't play their game. That's the only explanation. It's the only explanation for why this is allowed. Whew, okay. All right. Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. Good job, Clash Trial. Good job, Balance Team. You did such a good job with your game. Holy. It's almost as if this has been the strongest card combination for three months or two months, and they haven't changed it. It's actually unbelievable. This is two elixir. If you think I deserve to win that game, it is the biggest cope. I won that game and I'm mad for my opponent. That's how you know. That's how you know. Maybe, maybe they should look into the balancing their game a little bit better than this. Maybe they should listen to us. Maybe they should nerf cards that are overpowered. Because I can't tell you how many bad players I lose to that do this. How many bad players have you guys lost to that just do stuff like this? You just, like you've got Monk, right? It just, and you lose 2000 HP to a two elixir card. Like, how is that fair? How, how is that fair? It just isn't. It isn't. So we're shamelessly pushing up with the stupidest strategy in the entire game. Wow. Wow. That is so unfair. All right. Well, after that undeserved win, we will play one more game and we'll probably end the stream after that. Fun times though. Fun games, guys. Good looks and good games. Never give up. Never back down. Yeah, dude. Guess so, man. Bomber is balanced nerf witch. I guess so, dude. Evil Bomber is too weak, needs a buff. I agree, I agree. Spam that clip to Supercell. They need to fix their balance. Dude, I don't even, I don't think they have a balance team. They just don't, they don't nerf things. It's just crazy that that's still a thing. They really got to fix that. Seriously, they got to fix that. That is insane. All right. Well, we're playing against another skillful player that drops Giant Graveyard. So I think, you know, it kind of, kind of, the karma just bit me in the butt. Clash Trials is like, okay. You played the most skillful strategy of dropping the Evo Bomber. Now you get to experience real skill with the, the Bowler and Giant Graveyard. So I should have logged directly on top of his stuff instead of like letting the Bowler survive. Um, now he's up in a really good position, but it is what it is. I seriously hate that Evo Firecracker. Uh, this is worse than Evo Firecracker for the game, my guy, by a lot. <laughs> Insane. Is this the first Princess Tower? I think so. I haven't played against the Princess Tower in a long, long time. I'm just going to let that go. I think activating King Tower was not a possibility for our card cycle. Does he arrows this? The fact that the bomber didn't hit is so sad. Man, that's just so much damage. Wait, the goblins are going to lock on the tower too. We're fine. That's, that's pretty good. Take it. Giant Graveyard is full skill, and if you don't believe me, then you're wrong. <laughs> These are the types of players that I can lose to, though, even if uh, they're worse, right? It's just like, if I'm playing like a real deck, like I'm really, really trying, you can just lose to Giant Graveyard because they spam Giant Graveyard at the start, and then you just take too much damage. Like, that's another thing that should have been adjusted or nerfed a while back. 
That with Evil Bomber, like there's certain things in Clash Royale that they did a really bad job with. This is one of them. Giant Graveyard should have been adjusted a long time ago. It's way too strong for how easy it is to play. All right, we're gonna go for Bomber here as well. And then we'll see what we win. Thank you for the video on the boost challenge. I will read that right after this game or yeah, as we play. I think this guy doesn't understand that he should be Giant Graveyard in a lot more. He doesn't really know how to play his deck at all. Giant Graveyard functions in a capacity of just spam. You spam at the right point, you get value. For poisoning, we're going to go and stop his Giant. He's going to drop in the left. Or Tornado it backward. He's going to get outplayed. And then he doesn't have the Graveyard with it. Imagine. And then we Evo Tesla here. Kills the bats. And we log. Yeah. We're just better. Which is funny because we played so poorly in the last game. Alright. He's gonna drop bats for a musketeer. The fact that that stayed alive actually triggers me. I lost. Or should lose the game. Oh, I almost won actually. That would have been sick. 300 HP on the tower, dudes. There's no way this does it. Oh! What is happening? I don't understand. I don't understand. How did I win? How did I win? Someone fixed this game. There is no way that that just happened. What the hell? How does this even happen? <laughs> If you guys enjoy me playing with overpowered cards, drop a like on the video. I'll do this stream and this type of content more consistently in the future. I never do this because it's more fun for me to play different decks every day for content. And I switch for the Princess Tower. Um, but if you guys want me to just beat up on people and start at a lower rank and then just climb all the way up to where I actually deserve to be, I can do that every single, uh, every single season if you guys want me to do that. I think it's kind of fun. If, I, if I'm going to be pushing up off stream, I, I can also do this on stream too. And... That's kind of what we did today. So if you guys enjoy this, let me know in the comment section or just like the video. It goes a long way and it does support us. But let's take one more second to appreciate what just happened. Also, if you subscribe and stay connected, I do live streams or videos every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern or 12 p.m. PST. So definitely subscribe so you guys get notified. Anyway, let's take a, a one last look at that glorious push that happened. But I thought the game was over here. He went graveyard. I poisoned on it. I mean, that was pretty much all I could have done. Uh, I cycled Bomber because the cheapest thing for me to get back to a torna Tornado. If I cycled anything else, I wouldn't have been able to Tornado to pull back the Giant. We barely kill the Giant with Skeletons and Log, I think. I think I'll have to Log that too. Barely comes down. He's going to Musketeer. And I freaking Poison it. And then I Evo Bomber. <laughs> and he should Graveyard right now at this point. But he just didn't. And even if he did Graveyard, it just wasn't going to come down fast enough. <laughs> Bro maxed out his Luck stat. I know. I really did. I really did. But I did play well too. Like, consider the prospect of doing anything other than cycling the cheapest possible cards to get back to Tornado, and then cycling Log, knowing all those interactions, and then knowing that he could Graveyard. I went for the Evo Bomber to finish off the game and hoped it worked. Like, I knew all those interactions, and I increased my chances of luck working out in our favor. And uh, after you play enough games and you know life the game like I do, you increase your luck stat quite a bit, I guess. <laughs> Super fun games today. If you guys want to copy any of the decks, you can check them out right here. I will probably be creating videos on each one of them if I haven't already. And uh, yeah, I really love you guys. So thank you for being a part of the channel. Thank you for being here. Check out the pinned comment for videos on decks like the ones that I showcased today. I'll put a Goblin Drill deck that's similar to this one. I'll put a Goblin Giant deck that is similar or this exact same one. And I'll also put a Giant deck all in the pinned comment. Each deck will be there. Just check it out and it'll be labeled for you guys if you want to see full videos on each one of these decks or see more content that you might have missed. Love you guys. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, no matter when you're watching or where you're watching, I hope you have an amazing one. We're going to read the last donations because I did miss them. Harmony says, thank you for your video on the F Boost Fields Challenge. Got 12 wins pretty easily. Much respect to deck builders like you. Yeah, I spent around an hour and a half creating decks for the challenge. If you guys are ever wondering, whenever there's a new challenge in the game mode um, in Clash Royale, I stay up until 2 a.m. I record it is exactly when it comes out. And I showcase how to win the challenge live. 
And I come up with decks that will help you win. Whereas all the noobs and all the people that don't really understand how to play the game will be jumping in with a bad deck for the challenge. You guys will have a deck that's built by me, a top 1000 player that has tested the deck for hours. Like I play the deck and I play the challenge and I optimize it. So then you guys have a high chance of winning. Uh, so definitely subscribe if you guys want to earn more rewards in the game. Um, because yeah, uh, I'm able to do that. I'm able to help you guys out that way um, with all the challenges. Anyway, I'll see you later. Peace out, guys. Thanks for being here, and I'm hyped for tomorrow. There will be a video out here tomorrow, so see you guys later. Peace. And also, Chloe, thank you for the dollar.